is going on, Luke here, and we are here for round one of the 2021 Newcastle Knights career mode. I'm super excited to get into the season. Now, in 2019, I did a career mode. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it. But to sum up the season, I didn't win the Premiership. And that's what we're aiming to do. And that's what I'm aiming to do in 2021. Now, I'd also suggest you go back and watch the season preview. I sort of talk about my aspiration for the season. I go through the lineup. I show some overalls. Now, I said in that video that the overalls weren't finalized, and they weren't. So, I've gone through, and I've edited some of the overalls. And I think we've got a fairly good side at the Knights. We've got a lot of good players to work with. We've got David Klammer. We've got Tyson Frizzell. We've got Callum Ponga. Mitchell Pierce. And also, I want to say that in terms of injuries and that sort of stuff, when we're going to be taking on teams, and also, for me, I'm going to be going with the strongest side rather than what they feel in round one or what they filled in round two. I'm going with what I feel is best. Now in round one in real life for the Knights, they took on the Bulldogs and that's exactly what we're going to be doing on this game. Now I go for the Bulldogs so it is a little bit bittersweet that we're taking on the Bulldogs first up and they're going to be the first team that I defeat hopefully. But even though I should be beating the Bulldogs, I am aware that Rubber League Love 4 is interesting and sometimes you should be able to beat a side convincingly and I'm getting tied up by them. So despite the side in real life not being that great, I'm expecting this to be a tough game. Now we're about to jump on Rubber League Love 4 for the first time in this series but before we do that, I just want to give a special shout out to Drum Clo for sponsoring me. Uh, they're a company out of the Central Coast. They specialize in surf, skate, and streetwear. So definitely go check them out. I've got a bit of clothing on from them right now. You can see here, this is one of their designs. Got Drum on there. Currently rocking the long sleeves at the moment because it's bloody cold here. But definitely go and check out Drum Clothing. Link is in the description for the website. Anyways, now we got the plug out of the way. Let's jump on to Rebel League Live 4. Alrighty, we are on Rebel League Live 4. You can see the settings for the game and for the rest of the series, it's going to be veteran difficulty, nine minute halves. As of late, I've sort of been playing with seven minute halves. But I feel like for the crew mode and previous crew modes, I've always done nine minute so we're going to go back to that. It was a Friday game in real life, so we're going to be doing that. Whether I'm going to leave to random, um, same way as injuries, they're going to be minor. So there are going to be injuries. If someone gets injured in the game, I'll sort of try and play it out like they would in real life. Also, just for the people wondering, probably thinking, why aren't you doing any career mode? Why are you in calcium mode? It's because the career mode is very broken on Rubber League Live 4. So it's really hard to do actual career modes with custom sides. So I'm pretty much doing a competition mode. I'm adding all the sides and they're going to play each other. And I'll go through it and I'll do everything manually. I did it for the 2019 season. I'm going to do it the same on this one. Anyways, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into this game. Alrighty, here we have it. A home game for the Newcastle Knights taking on the Canterbury Banks and Bulldogs. Currently in last spot in real life, but on the game, this is their side. This is what I feel is the strongest side. So there's current players who are injured right now and players who didn't play in this actual round one clash, but this is their strongest side. Luke Thompson was obviously suspended, but I've chucked him in there. I've got Adam Elliott. Like, it's a pretty decent side in terms of Rugby League Live 4 squad. Dylan Napa on the bench is fairly good, but this is our squad. I think we have a much better side. Um, it's a really, really good squad, squad actually. Um, Mitchell Pierce, um, he started off the season, he ended up getting injured um, later on, but he's obviously going to start the season for me. Now, the interesting thing is Jake Clifford wasn't at the club for a good part of the season. So I feel like until he actually came across in real life, I'm going to be playing Kurt Mann in the 5 position. Uh, unless injuries happen, then we might have to sort of shuffle some things around. But guys, there were the lineups. I'm really excited to see how we go. Hopefully a big win first up. Jake Avrilo to get the 2021 season underway. Come on, nice. Let's get this win and let's get this premiership. Oh, here we go. Great run. Daniel Saifidi. That is a brilliant little run. That's exactly what you expect from the New South Wales representative. Oh, into a gap. There we go. It's Tuala. Tuala. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I knew the intercept was going to happen and I still threw it. Fifth and last. We just... All right. That's good kick pressure. That was so poor. That was so poor from the Bulldogs. Kind of fits with what they do in real life. And then Tyson Brazil straight through the gap. Yeah, there we go. It's Brabham Bess. Brabham Bess. Okay. Oh, he's over the sideline. He's over the sideline. Just an ankle tap every single time. They never actually make a tackle. You sort of get past them, the ankle tap you It's strange. We've had a pretty good start, but also a shit start. Like, we've made two line breaks, which have been followed up with two errors as a result of it. So, but we're making some opportunities. It is against the Bulldogs. I would expect those opportunities to keep happening, but we definitely need to convert some points. Oh, they're, not, they're actually running it. They just... What are they doing? This is even worse than the actual fifth tackle options for the Bulldogs in real life. We're going to hit the right here. Just got to hit Brent. Oh, I should have threw the last pass. I just want to keep targeting Bradman best. He's our best back, apart from Kalen Ponga. But the fullbacks don't really get involved that often. So I usually end up playing Kalen Ponga at 5'8". So might have to uh, see how that goes. David Clemmer, what a start to the game he's had. Mitchell Pierce. Okay, wins not behind. Oh, no. No, hit that upright. Hit that upright. Hit that upright. Okay, it's actually hit that right. We scored a try! I wasn't intending to do that, but I sort of saw how it was going and where Manny was positioning himself, and I thought, holy shit, this might actually hit that upright. We might get a result out of this. Wasn't really expecting a try. I'm thinking maybe we just tackle him in the end goal. So Kurt, man, opens the scoring first try of the season. Goes to us. It's like a it's a good start. I kind of wish the try was a little bit. I know it's a spectacular try, but not in the sense that I did anything really good. I kind of just threw up a bomb and it just worked. Don't know if that's what we should have done. Oh, it's actually an alright kick. Kurt, man, this is going to be a 40-20. It's going to be a 40... Oh, he hasn't gone over the sideline. 
Make the- it's okay, Luke, come on. Send him over slide like Nick, Mandy, what are you doing, mate? He's having a man. As I was kicking the ball, I was like, oh, I don't know if this is the right move. And then, all of a sudden, it was. And Caleb Ponga is through the- Oh, he gets tackled. Whoa, why do you think making the tackle? Very, very lucky for the Bulldogs, because we were about to go over for our second try. We still might even go over. Yeah, we are straight over. It's Toa. Stanford Toa scores in the corner. Don't know why we're going to the video ref. We don't even need to see this. This is a try. We have started off red hot, but this is expected up against the Bulldogs. But we're making line breaks left, right, and center. Mashing in a fair bit of form. You can see I'm kicking goals from the sideline. That says it all about how I'm playing at the moment. We're going to head to the right here. Get the ball. Get the ball. Okay, that is six to go. That is perfect. That is the perfect result for us. We're going nowhere that set, and we get very, very lucky. Oh, held in the tackle. Bulldogs on this off. Absolutely no favours. Please have actually made that out. Please have got it. I haven't actually got it. How? Oh my god. Why am I so bad at touch finders? I'm assuming they're going to hit... Oh no, they're going to Lewis. I thought they were going to hit Avarillo there. Lucky Lewis does have a decent little kick on him. Oh no, we've actually got it. I timed that it worse than I did for the touch finder. And we actually got a result. I need Caleb Ponga to get involved. I hate fullbacks in this game. They just do absolutely nothing. So I usually end up playing Ponga in at 5 Hey, Look at that. Caleb Ponga, his first touch of the ball. And it's a great one. Oh, why did it pass after the fact? I tried to pass before I even got touched. And then he palms off the plate and he still throws the pass. The kick it. What are you doing? What are you doing? There was no chance of getting that kick off. So they've given us a scrum here. We're going to be running at the caliper. Look at that space. Why is there so much space there? Go. Oh my god, they actually shut it down. I thought Caliper was gone. And we get a penalty. Do I take the two? Do I take... Yeah, let's take the two. Let's take the two. I feel like we're playing well enough that we could have scored a try there, but we've been making so many line breaks that like an opportunity like that to just extend the lead. To take it out the three scores, I think it's worthwhile doing. Get KP involved here. KP with the little Newcastle headgear. Straight past his headgear friend Dory there. I don't, I don't know why I said Dory. It's Dory. And I know that. I'm a Bulldog supporter. And I just said Dory. Like he's a bloody fish. So there's the first half over and done with. Two tries. A billion line breaks. A penalty goal. 14-0 at halftime. I'll take that. It's not been the most clinical of performances, but it's been a very good performance nonetheless. And Caleb Bonga to get the second half underway. We've actually gone with a few little changes to start the second half. Not really due to fitness or anything. We've had literally all the ball. So the players are quite fit. But I just kind of want to give some of these other guys a go. Guys like your Brody Jones, Connor Wattons. Guys who I think can make a difference. I think Connor Watson can definitely be a bit of an X factor for us off the bench. I've got him as a lock, but he's got all the skills of a 5'8 and stuff. So his actual rating is quite good. Oh, not the start we wanted. I saw they tried to back out of it last minute. Um, I saw it was happening. I was like, oh, let's just try and get away. But we couldn't. They're going to Avarillo here. Oh, no. They're actually not going to Avarillo. They're putting in a little shit again. What are they doing on the fifth tackle? I don't even know what they're going to do. I'm expecting them to pull up a bomb. Instead, they just put in grubbers or they get tackled. This is actually frustrating to me. And I'm actually playing against the Knights. Oh, get it. Get it. Connor. Oh, that's, is that a knock on to us? Okay, it's not a knock on to us, is it? Nah, damn it. Come on, Connor Willie Watson, what are you doing, mate? Catch that ball. Okay, they're going to fall over the line, aren't they? Do not fall over the line. Thank you. That's a great tackle. Been great defense so far. Okay, here might be we get broken open here. No, he's back. Luke Thompson. Can't score either. So that would be fifth tackle, I think. Tackle him. Tackle him. Okay, it's not the fifth tackle. Fourth. This is it. Come on, pressure him. Pressure him. Okay, they actually put up the bomb. I thought they would have went in the grubber there for sure. And we get the ball. Great defense. Go for a cheeky run, KP. This is really the opportunity. You get the fullbacks and he goes nowhere. What are you doing, Kalen? Can I go for a little grubber? A little cheeky grubber with Connor Watson here. Connor Watson gets the offload away. Can't get the offload away, really. It was shit. We did get away, but it was just bad. I feel like at this point, I feel like I'm just stuffing around. Q's in the rack. But I need to be wary because I feel like the Bulldogs can score a cheeky try or so. Look at that. Like, Kotrick deceptive player. I need to not just get complacent. Ponga. Not really going anywhere, but that's a nice little kick. Usually I don't nail them ones, but I think I've nailed this one over the sideline. Callum Ponga gets us out of trouble. Though. That's a big play. Okay, Callum Ponga just did the kick. We're definitely going to score here, KP. We're, oh, we're over the line. No, we're not. I thought he was going to fall over the line. Dive, dive, Toa, dive. You've already scored one. Score another. I'm going to go for a quick little pass here to Frizzell. Oh, Frizzell doesn't even get the pass. Pierce gets leveled there. Go, pick it. Kalen! Get the ball, get the ball, okay. I feel like I just said Kalen, it wasn't even his fault. Forward pass, forward pass. What are you doing, Bulldogs? What are you doing? You're just gifting me opportunities. He's dropped the ball. What are we doing? I feel like this dead set being about 50 scrums. There's been 40 20s kick, there's been four passes, drop balls. I just feel like the quality of game hasn't actually been that good, but look, I'll take a win regardless. And we get another penalty. 
I seem to be getting a lot of penalties as of late. Look, I'm just going to take a tap because I don't think I'm actually going to make it to the sideline. I don't want to risk that. And another drop ball. Stop dropping the ball. Oh my god, he's just going straight through the gap. I went for the big dive with Safidi. Couldn't get him. Instead, look, I actually had him turn. Keep thinking it's Thompson, but he's made a huge break there. Kalen through the middle. Kalen, go Kalen. Take on Nick Meany. Get the pass away. Okay. Oh my god, that's it. I thought they were going to score there for a second. I thought there was no one at home. But once again, another error. Like, I know we're winning this game comfortably, but we made probably like 10 errors. Dead set. Alrighty, there's full time. A 14 0 win. It's not a great win, but it's season only against the Bulldogs, but I'll take it for the first round. Obviously, at the end of the season, nobody's going to be caring about round one and how much we won by. As long as we got the win, that's what matters. But Kalen Pong actually ended up getting man of the match. Don't necessarily agree with that, but Kurt Man got to try. Tyler got to try. Kalen Pong kicked three goals. What the most interesting part of these stats is the fact that we had 18 sets but we only completed nine of them and a lot of the errors are on the first or second tackle. Like to start the game we had the first two sets made line breaks thrown out the sideline and intercepted. So yes there's definitely a lot of positives to be taken out of this game. The attack was pretty good but we need to execute a little bit better in terms of actually scoring points. Anyways that's the first round over and done with. Now in terms of showing results for other games I don't tend to do that because it's not a proper career mode but I will eventually show you the ladder but at the moment round one who really cares about the ladder after round one maybe three or four games into the season and then we'll start taking a look at the ladder and by then you'll be able to get a gauge of how teams are going so early on in the season I don't think it really matters about the ladder therefore I'm not going to be showing at the moment anyways that's where I'm going to wrap up this video thanks for watching hopefully you did enjoy it if you did make sure you go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here also make sure to turn on the notification bell it's super important in terms of you actually seeing these videos don't rely on the sub boxes use the notification bell also give me a follow on social media it's on the screen right now it's Mr. Luke and YT for the most part on Facebook just Mr. Luke but everything else is Mr. Luke and YT including Snapchat including TikTok Go ahead, give me a follow on all of them. Also, shout out to Drum Clothing for sponsoring me and sponsoring this video. As I said at the start of this video, I'm wearing a nice little shirt that they've sent me. Uh, you got Drum on there as well. So go ahead, give them a follow on social media. And also, like I said, in the description below is a link to the website. So go ahead and check them out. Anyways, that's all I've got to say. That's how I'm going to end this one. Stay tuned for more content on the channel. Stay tuned for more content on the Newcastle Nights Green Mode. And also, watch out for my streams because I've been streaming a lot lately. So go ahead and stay tuned for them. But yeah, that's how I'm going to end this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See you.